Welcome to Next Trekking Adventure. We hope that you like and subscribe to our channel. On this episode, we continue our journey from Trout Creek, Montana, our visit Ross Creek Cedars. And if you haven't seen that episode, go check it out. And then we go to the Swinging Bridge. Yeah, yeah so I don't like heights and walking over this. Whoa. Didn't stop for a photo op. Cue the intro. <laughs> so hey, we are Next Trekking Adventure, and you know, we just wanted to introduce ourselves and who we are. So I'm Mark. I'm Terry. And we're Next Trekking Adventure. We sold our bricks and sticks, and we travel full time. Terry works remotely, and uh, I'm retired. Well, I'm not retired because. <laughs> I'm trying to do this YouTube thing. Well, hey, that was the Ross Creek Cedars. I hope you like that. And uh, since it's Saturday, we are jam-packed with activities. We can do so many activities. <laughs> and uh, so we're heading another 30 miles, um, and there's a swinging bridge and uh, some waterfalls that we're going to go take out and check out. some drone flying and you probably saw that. I'm hoping I can fly the drone over the falls. That would be really, really cool. All right, well, we've got about 30 miles of road to drive and uh, the scene, uh, it, it is pretty scenic, so the uh, drive doesn't suck. No. What'd you think of those big trees? They were huge. Yeah. I don't think they were as big as We are all about seeing wildlife, and so when Terry spotted a herd of elk off the side of the road, we turned around and had to come back. Our passion goes pretty deep here. We donate to the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. Terry actually has a portion of her paycheck taken out every month, and her employer does a money match, which is really cool. So we are really passionate about elk. We're passionate about uh, conservation of land for wildlife and we put our money where our mouth is with the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. So when we see elk, we stop and check it out. Our first herd that we spotted, they're gonna go right up. So when you first arrive here at the trailhead, there is a little snack shop. They sell ice creams, hot dogs. This little parking lot here. And then the trail goes this way. There are some restrooms. Oh wait, who's this? <laughs> Were you pooping in there? <laughs> mm. Pro tip. Two things. <laughs> One is you don't have to park in the cluster parking lot. You come down the trail, oh, there's another parking lot right there. And there's picnic tables down here in the shade. And some cool stuff. So, we ate down there on those picnic tables. We had a, we had a little lunch. We didn't videotape it. Um, Miss Terry. Because we had bad food. <laughs> Yeah, I had a hot dog, <laughs> and uh, she had an ice cream cone. So, uh, but look at this. This is cute. We blew it. We could have had a nice picnic down in here, away from the people, because we were down there with the crowds, which is, you know, fine. But, but we were in the sun, and this is yeah. cooler, because this yeah. is really... 
and the tables were really dirty with ice cream yeah. and you know nobody's coming out and cleaning those tables so well you can hear the falls from here so they said they have sturgeon looks like they have bull trout oh we better read the sign hold on we better find out where we're at okay so this is our first overlook <laughs> that's cool if I'm really quiet, you might be able to even hear the river from here, but uh, first overlook doesn't disappoint. So we're going to do the swinging bridge, we're going to loop around and do the uh, falls there, but that doesn't suck right there. It's beautiful. Yeah. Alright, well, we're going to take you on this hike with us. Let's go! This is about a mile and a half there and back trail. Kootenai Swinging Bridge is located in between Troy and Libby, Montana. And according to all trails, it's generally considered an easy route. It takes an average of about 40 minutes to complete. It is a very popular hiking area, so even though I've cut out most of the other hikers, there was a lot of hikers on the trail that day. The best time to visit this trail is typically in June through September. It's also a dog friendly trail, but you are required to keep your dog on a leash. The Kootenai Falls and Kootenai Swinging Bridge are a must see while in western Montana. The Swinging Bridge was built by the Forest Service to allow better access to the forest fires across the river. The original one was destroyed by a major flood in 1948, but rebuilt um, by the Libby Dam project. If you are afraid of heights, it's a little gut-wrenching to be over the water in Montana's highest falls, but it's a must-do, and to get the best views of the falls, you've got to cross the bridge. <laughs> It's an unbelievable feeling. For those video vlog people and Instagram folks that are trying to capture that view and cinematic pictures on the bridge, it's really difficult because people just keep lining up. And even though we're getting some stretches where it looks like we're some of the only people on the bridge, we weren't and there was people waiting. So our photo opportunities were limited. <laughs> Some of the different apps that we use yeah. to help us find locations or at least tell us about the areas that we're in are all trails. We like the all trails app because it shows you different hikes in the area and some of the highlights. Gypsy Guide is also a really good app and Audio, A U T I O app. Okay, we crossed the swinging bridge. <laughs> We're looking at the falls, now we gotta make the hike to the falls. Here we go. Huge accomplishment for you. So we decided to make our way down from above to do the rocks. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> what we really like about the Gypsy Guide and the Atio apps are that they tell stories along the way so as you pick your routes you can find highlights and stories and if you're going to any of the national parks the gypsy guide is a must-have how about that miss terry beautiful kootenai falls is a waterfall on the kootenai river it's in lincoln county montana and uh, it's just right off of route number two. It is the largest undammed waterfall in the state of Montana and one of the largest waterfalls in the United States by water flow rate. Look, God even made a bench for us. Thank you, I think I will. We enjoyed our time at the falls 
We sat there for a little while just watching the waterfall and kind of my dad joke is, it's just falling water. <laughs> I killed it. And we're back. It really is time well spent at Kootenai Falls and going across the Kootenai Bridge. But we had been here long enough and we're about an hour and a half away from our RV. So we jumped back in the rig and headed back to Trout Creek, Montana. And we'll see you on our next trekking adventure. <laughs>